Okay, so I'm gonna do a small series of videos now. Um, there are probably gonna be four or five videos in which I'll show my game collection. I've had several requests for this now, so I thought it was about time. This is the first video and it's gonna be about my Super Nintendo, my F Super Famicom and my semi-disc system. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, so first let me show you my beast. As you can see, there are several items on it. Of course, there's the Super Nintendo itself, over here. This is my Cobra, we call it the copy box. And of course, my converter, which converts US games and Japanese import games as well. So the copy box, I think it has multiple purposes, but we mainly use it for games. I think it's a Chinese thing, it's not an official Nintendo item. But as you can see, it's made to fit in my Super Nintendo. These are the games I have on there. There are a lot of them. I'm not gonna name them all. Some games utilize two discs, some only one, and some three. There are some Japanese games as well. Let me show you how it works. I'll show it by using this one, black one. So, this I look from the side. Put in the desk. And this is the startup screen. So anyway, you can hear the sound is loading. You see, there's the data on the loading screen. Now the funny thing is, the AC adapter that's connected to it is actually a, a Super Famicom one and not a Super Nintendo one. So we'll wait till it's finished loading. And we immediately enter the game. Yeah, I know, loading, loading, whatever. Alright. The thing with Blackthorn is, it, I think it's called Blackhawk uh, somewhere else, I am not sure, but it's pretty expensive actually. So you see. Oh, why? Yeah, that was stupid. So, it's all real from here. So just to show you guys real fast, if I push select, uh, crap, that will, see, that will put everything in, that's Chinese by the way, that is not Japanese. If I push select, IC card, that's the cartridge that's inside, so if I push run IC card, it's gonna play rock and roll racing. And, and to play as well, this is another of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. And you see, it's on the converter, so it's the US version. I have the uh, European version as well. So you see. So I'll start off with my Super Famicom now, with my Super Donkey Kong 1, 2, and 3 all complete in box. Then over here. My Secret of Mana 1, 2, and 3. I know this is a Game Boy game, but that's a Secret of Mana 1, the official one. It's called Final Fantasy Gaiden Seiken. Um, I think in the US it's called Mystic Quest, which is the official Secret of Mana 1. Uh, Secret of Mana 1, which everybody else knows, is officially Secret of Mana 2. And then there's Secret of Mana 3. 
or 100% complement in box. Then we have Songmaster Romancing Saga 3 Front Mission Alpharia Cyber Knight and Super Mario RPG or 100% complete in box as well. And the last part, uh, these boxes are in a less bad condition as you can see. This is my worst box, uh, Zero No Tsukama, Far East of Eden. You can see the corner is all busted up. My Super Star Wars, Top Racer, they do have the booklet though, all of them. But Zero No Tsukama is missing the plastic. Then my two cartridge only. Super Famicom, Kunio Kun uh, no Dodgeball, very weird game, and my Dragon Ball Z fighting game with the booklet. But I guess you guys can't see that. So here's another quick look. That way you can see everything that is still in the game. If it's going too fast, you guys will just have to pause it because I've got more to film. I love that artwork, by the way. Okay, so also, I know that I have like, not a gigantic number of games, but that's mainly very simple because I don't put all my money in games. I keep buying them and I will never stop buying them. But it's not like I'm putting a fortune in it. Because I like playing what I buy and not just collecting it. And here are all my cartridge only games. I won't show these in much detail because chances are if you're watching this you already know what it is. Legend. My favorite multiplayer game with my oldest brother. Rock and Roll Racing of course. My favorite multiplayer game with my third brother. The Sailor Moon one is in French. And here are some loot games with the manual. Okay. Yoshi Super Mario World 2. Star Wing, called Star Fox in the US. Keller Instinct, complete with all the crap it came with, including of course the Keller Cut CD. Block. Extremely difficult game, very fun. Uni Rally, which is called Uni Racers in the US, I think. Also, one of my favorite games, complete with the map thing it came with. And Secret of Avamore, complete with the 72 page guide it came with. <laughs> with the extremely cool CC top bag. And here's the final part, Home Alone, a game that looks way too crappy for the SNES. Ultraman, I can honestly say it's better than either Primal Rage and Rise of the Robots because those two games really sucked. Eager to get, addictive and difficult, super putty, kinda crappy, controls are way Way bad. And finally Mortal Kombat 3. I just remember that I can't find my Azada a link to the past copy. I have no idea where that went because I have a 2 in box. So anyway I'll end this video with my top 10 for the Super Nintendo. And I'll only add games that I own of course. So games that I don't have I can't add to this thing. Starring 10, Galensic 9. Front Mission, Lucy's Island, Only Rally Sex Base, Illusion of Time, Illusion of Gaia over in America, 5th place, Rock and Roll Racing, 4th place, Best Racing Game Ever, Black Thorn, 3rd place, Donkey Kong, 2nd place, the first one, and of course, number 1, 
Secret of Evermore. I messed the game probably, but I made this top 10 really fast just now. So that was the first part of this series. Um, the Nintendo 64, the NES and the GameCube are all gonna get its own video too. Make a video of everything else. That's still over after that. Stay tuned and stay real.